they've got England, uh, which is automatically going to be a big hyped up game for months in advance. And then you've got Croatia, who were in the World Cup final as, as near a time ago as 2018, uh, but, are, but are regressing as a side because a lot of the guys are older, like Modric and like Rakitic. They're all getting older now. And then they've got the Czech Republic, who Scotland have beaten recently on a couple of occasions. Now, one of those times it was the Czech B team because of COVID, but Scotland know that they can beat the Czech Republic. There's no doubt about that. And then it's just how they handle the other games. But just to be there, Kirsten, just to be there on the biggest stage uh, for this generation, because there's 20 years of players have missed out. They've been on the beach. They've been in the flip-flops, putting on the factor 50 when all these players are turning out in South Africa and Poland and Ukraine and the World Cup in Brazil. The Scotland boys have been on holiday. And so now they're going to get to experience what my generation experienced, was to go there and you know, have the expectations of the country behind you and the Tartan army behind you and pitting your skills and wits against some of the best players in the world. You were part of the last major tournament, Craig. Surely this win has brought it all flooding back, brought those memories back. Most of us that played in these tournaments, and I'm sure almost all the lads are the same, we all still look back. We look back with great fondness and being at the hotel for three or four weeks and preparing for the, the World Cup in America. We came over here to where I'm working and living now in the United States and we prepared over here for the tournament. So it's not just about the tournament. It's about the selection of the squad and some boys will be disappointed uh, to be left out because, you know, when we went to France in 98, we left out, you know, we left out a few players, but Ali McCoy and Stuart McCall were left out. You know, two Rangers legends. I mean, you wouldn't hear of that now because of where Scotland are in terms of the squad depth, but there's going to be some disappointed boys, but then it's the whole, it's the whole build-up. It's the, the pressure, it's the camaraderie, and... In 20 years' time, these guys will, will, will remember that. Stevie Clark's an old teammate of mine. I messaged him this morning uh, to give him my congratulations. I got a short message back after he debated sending me a text to America because I think he was worried about the cost because he's a tight sod. Uh, but he got back to me, he says, thanks, Craig. And I just said, right, well done, mate. This has been a graveyard for a lot of good managers. Strachan, Walter Smith, Alec McLeish, George Burley. Craig Levine, the list goes on. These are all good managers that have come up, come a cropper and almost been victimised and made fun of for their inability to get Scotland to a major championship. And I think that's a little unfair. Uh, but Stevie has managed to gel this group together and you know, managed to find a way of getting Robertson and Tierney on the field at the same time because that's really important because they're two of our best players. And I just wanted to send him a message to say what a great job he's done. And nobody can, no matter how Scotland do, Kirsten, at, at the Euros, nobody can take away the fact that since Craig Brown in 98, Stevie Clark is the first manager to take, take Scotland back to a major championship. That never comes off your resume. I wish I was playing again. I wish I was getting on that plane to go to the Euros. I wish I was waiting on that phone call from the manager to tell me I'm in the squad. I wish I was going to be kitted out for my suit or my kilt or whatever it is they choose to wear to be going to the Euros. I wish I was that 25-year-old again, but I'm not. I'm just that miserable old sod who's talking about the game now because I can't play it anymore. And I'm jealous. I'm jealous that I'm not going to be part of that, uh, but I'll be part of it as a broadcaster. And, and hopefully when I get there, I'll be saying good things about Scotland. Uh, and nice things about Clarkie, and if they let me down, I'll be giving them stick. That's and he knows that. No Scotland, no party. That's all I'm saying. No, no Scotland, no party, no talent. And do you know, over here in America, uh, you know, the Scotland uh, supporters are synonymous. They keep saying to me, and when we go to the Euros and we broadcast the Euros in, in 2014, we were down in Brazil broadcasting the World Cup in Brazil from uh, from Rio and the Copacabana Beach. I didn't even. I didn't even get my speedos out for the Copacabana. I couldn't embarrass the Scots with the white. But, when I, <laughs> but my, my, Paris the Fort, Paris the Fort, my American colleagues always say to me, it's not the same at these major tournaments without the Tartan Army. It's just not the same. The, the fans are synonymous with major tournaments. 
with the, the attire and the kill and their behaviour. And so we're not having that conversation this Euros. They're going to they're be seeing the Celts and we'll be bringing that. We'll be bringing all the lovely shots of the Scottish fans to the American public. And they love it because they all love Scotland. They love Scotland over here. They all talk about going to Scotland. Oh, we, they say, oh, we love the whiskey. I said, I don't drink whiskey. They say, how can you not drink whiskey? You're Scottish. I say, I drink plenty of other things, but I can't drink whiskey. They say, oh, we love going to Scotland. The Americans just love Scotland and the Scottish people, and they're going to love the Tartan army in six or seven months or whenever it is at the Euros. And hey, it might just keep me in a job for a little bit longer that Scotland have got there. So thanks very much. You're very hard on yourself, Craig. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us and really look forward to catching up with you again very, very soon.